Oh my god! Can I get the fuck out of here? I need to get out of here. Baby, the toy stop. Hey! Baby! The toy! There's one guy still in there, he didn't get out! What happened? Oh, there's the hand. You don't know what happened. Yeah. So I'm imagining that the guy sitting next to you keeps hypnotizing you, but you can't remember how your teeth got fucking broken. Okay. I love you too. I love you so much, man. All right. All right. I'm gonna. Call, I'll start calling you Wednesday when I wake up, and you just call me back when you when you get the message, and then I'll buy your ticket. Okay. Okay. This is happening. All right. Thank you. All right, I, love you I love you, Vicky. I I don't expect to ever see you again, Vicky. I expect that you're gonna die in Lancaster. Why were they living in a hole in the ground? You have to stop. On you, you have to stop, Vicky. I know, I'm going to stop. I want to stop. You got no teeth left. What the fuck, dude? Fuck. What happened? What, did he just light himself on fire? The one who started it never got out. What are you saying? There's a guy in there that never got out. Three of us got out. And one is still in there. I want to get out of here. Okay? Okay. I really want to get out of here. I hear you. I really want to get out of here. I hear you, Vicky. I've already bought you two Greyhound tickets and you don't get on the bus. I'm like, heaven. <laughs> that sounds great. Okay. Okay. This is happening. This is happening. It better. Because we're, we're getting too old to keep having more extra chances, dude. I know. we got to make 30. this happen. I'm 30. You know that? Yeah, I know. I'm, for, I'm 48. Vicky. I'm going to be 50 in a year and a half. Well, I can't keep doing this, dude. You got to get your shit together now. Like I am, now. It's happening. I, I love you. you. I, love you. I love you too, man. I don't expect to ever see you again, Vicky. I expect that you're going to die in Lancaster. And I'm going to have to just what? fucking deal with it. Because you're not... Because you you're not getting your shit together, Vicky. Look next. Look at the fucking piece of shit sitting next to you. You, I spent eleven thousand dollars to get you away from that motherfucker, and there you are, right next to him. You don't even know me, cunt. You hear me? You don't even know me, you piece of shit. A narc says what? The fuck is wrong with you? A narc says what? A narc. You're such a fucking cunt. No, you're just doing this for the fun of it. You narc piece of shit. Isn't it weird? There's one person still in there, but there's no way he's alive. Three of us got out, one's still in there. I ain't come a fucking bitch. They had my daughter living in a hole and one of them burned to death. Oh, wow. Fucking A, man. Maybe this was a bad idea? I see the way that uh, it's well known throughout the state that Mr. Bill Horn is the leader of this. He's on point, as they say. And this will not stand. This, you will not take our freedom away. Now, I'm not kidding, man. I have videos of seven different hypnotists that have tortured and just, they destroyed this poor girl's life. <laughs> Here's the list. It's now 3.30 in the morning and crime scene is here. And I'm still sitting in the back of a fucking police car. And I still haven't had water. Amen. Sing great. How sweet. Oh, wow. That's cool. She's stuck in like I am. Yeah, she's stuck in it. She's not necessarily. If she is, at least you'll have visited her one more time because she won't be long for this earth at the rate they're going. And everything I own is burning. I talked about my motive the entire time that I talked to you and the other guys in the... I, I did have motive. He raped and tortured my daughter for yeah, years. Yeah, but that doesn't mean he did it. No, I didn't do it, but I get that. The, uh, the other cops who sat with me all night. Howdy. 
How's it going, Seth? You okay. scared me there. Why? I don't know. I thought you were sleeping. I wasn't. Oh, okay. All right, Seth. And she hasn't even told you what's going on yet. Not the half of it. They won't let her go. They've got her in an underground bunker, and she gets four good hours a day without a can. She's stressed the fuck out, and she's just up in the dose. Yeah, they leaving a hole in the ground. <sighs> Jesus Christ. What the fuck is this? Oh my God! Somebody landed, but I don't see any survivors. Are you guys the survivors? From Do you know where Victoria Twilight? is? I know where to find her. Can you help me? Are you Seth? Yes. Okay, Seth. Come on. Bring your shit, and you'll be doing the same thing I've been doing the whole fucking time. Oh my god. And everything I own is burning. Because I came to help Victoria. Wait, you're underground? After the I fire you guys that set. You started the fire to kill this guy. No. I'm saying, why aren't you investigating it? It's being investigated. Still? Well, the, the female and the male haven't been located. I, weird, because I was in Lancaster with her for three months, end of last year, and then for a week when I got... You should watch the video of everything the third guy, the one who helped set the fire, said in the hotel room when he was explaining how the allegedly deceased person escaped after setting the fire. Would you like to see the video? Because I've mentioned it three times and you haven't even asked. Do you want to see the video of this thing you're supposedly... I've seen your videos on YouTube. What, what's that? I've seen your videos on YouTube. The one from last month? From, from April? Where he explained how the fire was set? I'm telling you there's new video, Chris. For the third time. I'll, I'll just dub the clown music in afterwards, buddy. Do you want to see the video of the other person that you had trouble locating and but never talked to? Explaining how the fire was set and how the person you're saying is dead that you helped dig out is actually still alive because he said it and ran? Would you like, I mean, you haven't talked to either of the two people other than me and I've given you lots of motive, but you're not interested because you know I didn't do it. You know they did it because you're fucking covering it up. So do you want to see the video, Mr. Investigator, or no? I'm further away because it keeps exploding. They got propane tanks and shit down there. Right? Howdy. Hey, how are you? Fine, how you doing? What's your name, Seth? Seth, yeah. Hey, Seth, my name's Sergeant Burgo. I work at uh, Sheriff's Arson Unit. Okay. Um. <clears throat> the sergeant that investigated the fire. Thanks for waiting for me. Yeah. Which is quite better in here than out here on the streets, right? Or right. on the field. Right. Um. Where do you live? Uh, I don't. You homeless? Uh, yeah, I was. Jesus Christ! And there's propane tanks. That's not the first one. What's going on? The tw he he fell asleep, and I think he so he just started a fire on himself because we heard him like moaning. I thought he was moaning in his sleep. Is he in there? He's in there. He's we couldn't get him out. Oh my God! He's done. Oh, he's, it's been 20 minutes. It, it's the fire started on him. Yeah. 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 He's long dead. My purpose for being there was to figure out how the fire started and collect fire evidence. So you know that the person who allegedly died was part of the arson that started the fire? Okay, e either yourself? You didn't tell me it was an arson. Yeah, there's propane tanks all over that thing. Alright. The people who called you got out and I got out. Do you have any idea on you? Yeah. Do you have any water, by any chance? Uh, I don't right now. You don't have any? No. You didn't tell me it was an arson. Well, it was obviously an arson. Did you not come to that conclusion yet? No. Really? An arson. Here's, here's my problem, Sergeant Burgo. You didn't ask to talk to either of the two, two other people who survived the fire. They were gone. I have, I have contact with both of them. You have, still haven't asked me for contact for the only two other people besides me who allegedly survived this fire that you can't seem to figure it out. You said there's one person in there? There's one person in there. 
It's where he, the fire started literally in his room. And oh my God, Patrick's obviously fucking long dead. You piece of shit. A narc says what? The fuck is wrong with you? A narc says what? A narc. You're such a fucking cunt. No, you're just doing this for the fun of it. You narc piece of shit. Oh my god, Patrick, he's just dead in there, oh my fucking god. Do any of you have water? Oh my god. Uh, just stand by real quick, I think the fire department will be here in a little bit, you could ask him, alright? Oh my god. I Sir? Contact info that night. Yeah, never reached out to either of them, never reached out to either of them. I gave you the name to both of them. I get it on video, son. Don't start lying now. You gave me the first name of a male Hispanic. That was it. You didn't give me his whole name. So um, what is this out here? I honestly, I arrived today, so I didn't know. I had heard she was living in a hole in the ground with these hypnotist number six and yeah, hypnotist who's, number seven. Who's, who's my daughter? daughter. She's my goddaughter, technically. I didn't marry her what's, mother. What's her name? Victoria Swindell. Okay. So she, she used to live over on beach. Uh, she lived with uh, at 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 the deceased's house on beach, yeah, for okay. a little while. Was that a fourplex? I believe so. What happened over there? That they, they don't they evicted everyone. Or? I I I didn't get that story. Okay. He, he burned up. He happened. burned up before I got to find out why he was, why the two people who promised she was going to have a great life and talked her to come. I spent eleven thousand dollars to rescue her from these two motherfuckers. Okay. They talked her and they <clears> hypnotized <throat> her. I heard her say, don't snap your fingers at me, I'm not a dog. And then I saw this, just a big snap. And her head went like this. But no physical contact. Can you listen, snapping. please listen to what I'm telling you. Okay, listen, very carefully. This is what she did. He snapped her, his fingers, her head dropped. Okay. It raised up slowly. She said, what do I do now? He said, go to sleep. She laid down and went to sleep. Okay. Now he is the fourth boyfriend in a row okay. that I've. Can we pause you? Yeah. So he hypnotized her. He didn't actually forcibly hit her or anything. That's what we're getting at. We need some clarification. Yeah, I, I'm, so I'm talking about how I'm talking about how he hypnosis. hypnotized her. Okay. Yes. And he's now the the fourth boyfriend in a row who I've caught hypnotizing her. I don't know You're that hypn hypnosis putting, is assault. Putting somebody intentionally into hypnosis state so you can abuse them is that that's just. I, I, that, I don't think there's a criminal statute for that. To be honest with you. Really. Ben Sofa smiles at you so proudly. They've been hypnotizing her for 10 years. And I, the, the episode, it's called uh, The Malevolent Seven, that details the seven hypnotists in Lancaster that I've documented hypnotizing, drugging, raping, and torturing Victoria. The horrifying true story of seven hypnotists with way too much in common. The but now we're on to number six and seven, Julian and Patrick. And I know why I did what I did last night when I was in Julian's van. He, and I remember because my pants were half off and uh, shit wasn't right. I told him no. So why the fuck is he doing that? Anybody listening to the true story of why Victoria gets raped and robbed on a regular basis? It's a hell of a story and Julian's one of the stars of it. Why'd you say you thought he was a cop? I do. Huh? I think he's a cop. You think Julian's a cop? Yeah. So why are you dating him? <laughs> Interesting, right? You're real sure. Because in this <laughs> What's going on, Vicky? Even though everybody's got fucking cash, 
Everybody wants me to ask you for money. Everyone wants you to ask me for money? Yes, even though I don't even have fucking money. I don't even have money, do I? I only have $10 on my fucking SSI card. So why do you guys want me to ask him for my $10? Okay, then that means you're just going to be my man and, and give and to share your money. Sugar daddy, I like. And where are you going to live? Huh? Where are you going to live? I'm going to live probably in his van for a minute until I can get a rent room. What? She ain't gonna come. Why? Cause she's too lazy or too... Show me where it is? No, just go straight down here. I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna go to my sister's house. Just go straight down here and you won't miss it. I can't carry both of these across the desert. Well, just wait for, I don't... Her, wait for her right there on the... On the... On the so on you're... The are you holding her in a fucking... I'm holding her. That's what that lady said. I'm holding her. That's what that girl said. No, she don't want to get out. She don't want to stand up out of the bed. Why is she living in a hole? Because I live in a hole. I thought you lived at your mom's house. No, I don't live in my mom's house. What happened? I never lived in my sister's house. I lived for a little bit. I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna go to my sister's house. Yeah, I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna go to my sister's house. I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna go to my sister's house. Right you were she living in a house when she was living it at hypnotist number seven. Sir Patrick, I'm sorry. You're number six. He's number seven. Oh, you see what that bullshit? Okay, no, never mind. Don't go. She'll, be, she'll come and get you. So where is it? She'll come and meet you. Yeah. Great. Okay. I wanted to fucking murder him. I wanted to fucking murder him. That's hypnotist number six. And I guess just pointing in a direction. But other than that, I don't give a fuck if I have to go into a tank. Honest to God. I know, and I've already found, there's, cause I get these weird calls, I mean not calls, text messages on my phone from this chick that had my phone, and I've already noticed a couple of places even hitting me up about room for rent, so uh, I'm not joking, I think I got this. You just gotta help me out with it, and you make the bank, so you gotta help me out a lot more than you have. Why are people doing this to me? They're doing it to me, Vicky. They've been fucking with you for so long just to try to piss me off. I mean, there's no other explanation for what the fuck's going on here. Why would the man who's sitting next to you let you sit in his car with shit in your pants for five minutes while he told you you were nothing so you wouldn't answer my phone call? <laughs> I don't know if you have to show yourself as the right time. That's your problem. That's your issues. And what, I, what I'm saying is, well, we all find about what we all uh, are being mad about. Yeah, you're special. So you're not that special. What? That's what he's saying to you as I'm calling on Facebook. He doesn't want her to show her face? What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck is that? Julian? Yeah, Julian. Heard what you say when you didn't think anything was taping you. Five minutes. I'll tell him. Let me tell him. Let me tell him. Give him the phone. God. Yeah, buddy. What's up, bro? How you doing? Yeah, you you left a message on my voicemail, but you didn't know about it. So it's you spending. F yeah, five minutes of you telling Victoria she's nothing. So she shouldn't answer the phone, even though she had shit in your pants, and she was sitting right next to you in your car, and you needed my money to get in a hotel room. And yet you spent five minutes telling her not to answer the phone. And he's completely controlling her. She's sitting right there in front of this and not picking it up. And she was sitting right next to you in your car, 
and you needed my money to get in a hotel room. And yet you spent five minutes telling her not to answer the phone. So do you just like the smell of shit, Julian? Is that it? You love the smell of shit? No, Vicky, it's not your fault. It's not your fault. You never wanted to do the can, dude. Josh and Johnny put the first can in your hand. At your house, you talked in depth about knowing about putting people under hypnosis. She threw up and yelled and screamed all night. Again. The guys that did this to her, the gang of oh, motherfuckers who did this to her. It was Josh, John, Johnny who raped her. And that's number seven in the ditch. It's number six who who helped uh, take her away. Um, Who's that? Who that's took Julian. Her? Julian? Julian. Is he like a light-skinned male black? No. He's not that picture that they showed me now. He's he's Mexican. Okay. Um did he, li did he live over there on beach? He lives near that he um he he lives on uh um with his sister on um what was the street that Elm. Elm. Either of them. Give me a name to one of them. I had to figure that out on my own. I gave you the name to both of them. I get it on video, son. Don't start lying now. You gave me the first name of a male Hispanic. That was it. And does, I does I, he have a car? He had a van. I don't. I didn't get. Again, didn't get the story of why he no longer has a van, why he's no longer living at the nice apartment that he had been living in, mm -hmm. and why instead he's keeping my daughter in a fucking hole and buying her dust off to keep her drugged and happy. So, those answers I don't have. Okay. You didn't give me his whole name. I looked it up in my phone for you to get his last name. And in multiple, co I gave you six of his contact numbers. Yeah, I do. I need to know why you're covering up an arson. So how long have you been here at this, this hole? I got here about three this afternoon. 3 p.m.? Yeah. Well, I got to the bowling like alley. Yesterday? I got yesterday. Okay. I got to the bowling alley at about one. Mm -hmm. her, her thing was just yell for me at the bowling alley. Does she have a cell phone? No. Okay. So I yelled and the woman who I showed the other officer the video, I guess her name's Lisa or something, came over. Yes, can I carry that? Because we got to go on the road over there into the corner because they're buried underground, sir. Lisa or something came over instead of Victoria, tried walking me out there, but my, my stuff wouldn't make <gasps> it. So I just said, just go tell her I'm here. And I'm glad to hear you calling her name. I'll tell you what. This is like, it's like a bad dream, is what this is. Oh my god! Do you want to stop talking about Patrick, hypnotist number seven, and Julian, hypnotist number six? Did Julian tell you that? Where's Victoria? Great, where's Victoria? I'm not going over there. Is she coming? You to. She would come. Great. Would you like to go in the bowling alley and sit down and calm down for a minute? No, I'm good, thanks. Would you like something to drink? I'm fine, thank you. What was your name? Lisa. Hi, Lisa. And if I, Lisa. And if I got Lisa. off to a bad start, I... No, I guess. just I just expected... said she was my daughter and you almost fell over. Well, you did that on purpose, didn't you? No, actually, she calls... She She's close to me. <laughs> well, you did that on purpose, didn't you? No, actually, she calls. She, she's close to me. When she metamorphosizes nice into something else, she still looks the same, but I know she's somebody else. So she's coming to the bowling alley? I would imagine she will be coming to the bowling alley, sir. Is there any way I can make you more comfortable before she gets here? No, I'll you just... sure? You just want to spend kick back the, Spend the rest of my life waiting for her, I guess. No, because this time you're not going to let her go back to those two. No matter what, because oh, if you are, I'm going to string you up, sir, because she'll listen to you. I'll help you, but I just walked away from my boyfriend oh, of six Christ. years doing the same shit, and she hasn't even told you what's going on yet. Not the half of it. They won't let her go. They've got her in an underground bunker, and she gets four good hours a day without a can. 
she's stressed the fuck out and she's just up in the dose. She will, because she asked you to come, didn't she? Jesus fucking Christ, what do you people want from me? What do I you swear. want for your, your, your sister oh, who wants Jesus you, that's all. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. She wants somebody she knows she can rely on outside of this fucking miasma of shit that she's stuck in like I am. Yeah, she's stuck in it. She's not necessarily. If she is, at least you'll have visited her one more time because she won't be long for this earth at the rate they're going. And I'm telling you the God honest truth, I'm not so sure I'll make it till next week. Oh, would you stop, please? Why? It's not theatrics. Oh, my fucking God. I'll walk away. Please. Sir. Thanks. It was a pleasure meeting yeah, you. Yeah, you too, officer. I'm not an officer. Okay, Bilal. snitch, whatever the fuck. I'm not even a snitch. What not could even I snitch, snitch on? Oh, my God. Sir, I've been out here for eight years giving up the best years of my life because I believe in these kids. Some of them are good. Victoria is one of them, but I know she's twisted. So am I. So beware. Thanks for all your help. She came back, told me, you know, they're just holding her in that hole and keeping her drugged and you got to get her out of there. And, uh, but I have an agreement with her that I don't challenge her friends, and use friends with quotes, because it just starts a fight. So I sit there and put up with the fact that I know that they've been hypnotizing, drugging, and raping her. Where, where did you come from? Um, uh, movie, like, I, I come had, from L.A. or somewhere else? Well, I, I just arrived at Union Station a week ago from Texas. Okay. But I just arrived in Lancaster this morning from uh, Mojave, where I was visiting uh, her brother, my son, okay. my godson. Okay. And so when you got here, what, I mean, this place is pretty badly burned what what did it look like uh i got video from before you have video i i, I was videotaping uh throughout the day is there um can you can you email stuff on it yeah yeah well i can't from here but i can once i get to wi-fi okay if i give you my business card can you send me the video i got like 13 videos that's fine okay um i'm gonna uh, uh, uh it's easier to upload them to which, youtube which, and send you the link what's your I can send you a link where you can download it to a, a website. That's going to uh, take... Uh, well, you, you want the actual video itself, that YouTube link isn't... isn't I'm, just, I'm trying to figure out what this place looked like well, I can, before I mean, it got on fire. I gave you six of his contact numbers. Yeah, I do. I need to know why you're covering up an arson. Sir? So why don't I retake your statement again then? That'd be great. Tell you anything about the murder over there? She, the I never mentioned. She never mentioned that. Never mentioned that. There, there's been large gaps. When, when did you say what it was? <laughs> it was uh, Labor Day weekend, 2021. That was after she came back. So I, um, yeah, I, I, it's, I spent 11 yeah, grand. Patrick I, looks like uh, Shaggy, right, from Scooby Doo. Uh, kind very of, old version. Maybe? Yeah, an old kind version. Of, sure. Um, but she. Uh, that's his. Uh, that's his nickname, right? Oh, oh I didn't Shaggy? know. I didn't know that. Okay. I didn't know that. My nickname for him is Hypnotist Number Seven. I gotcha. Yeah. Okay, so your claim is that nobody died in that fire. Obviously, well, you know nobody died in the fire, buddy. You helped yeah, cover it up. I don't have time for this. You don't? Well, I just needed you to say it on video, son. So let's. Who's your Who's your commanding officer? Okay. There is a person that was deceased in that fire. False. I know because my partner and I dug him out with the coroner's office. Dug him out. Who perished in that fire? And in the videos, it shows, like, I mean, there's no question. I, I, I've caught him switching her in and out of personalities. So, like, my purpose here is to try and figure out how this fire happened. Yeah. So, in this hole, is is this hole, is the whole thing covered? Is there a roof over it? There was, those like, there's separate, I don't, I don't know the layout of it enough. Like I said, I just got here at three and I've been dealing with, you know, her and everything else. I didn't so really get. So, you got here at three, was it open like this? As it is now? There's. The. There's no rooftop or anything. There was... Can I go over and show you? Yeah, sure. Come on out. You know they did it because you're fucking covering it up. So do you want to see the video, Mr. Investigator, or no? Where's the video at? Well, I'll just email it to you. How about that? And then, we'll, and then you'll, you'll have your boss talk to me. Sergeant? Uh, my boss doesn't need to talk to you. I think he does, Chris. You're... you're you... You participated in the cover-up of an arson and you're an arson investigator, Chris. I will. And then we'll talk some more. How about that? Um, I really don't think I have anything else to discuss with you. 
You're investigating a fire I just said I have motive to. And you, I'm about to send you incredibly detailed video of the person you couldn't locate. And you don't think you need to talk to me again? Sorry. Are you bad at your job, Chris? No, it sounds like you're... Uh, pissed off? On drugs right now. Oh, I'm pissed off at you, Chris. Because you're helping cover up a fire, Chris. And it's literally your job to investigate them. Cover up here. The two FBI agents that set the fire the day I arrived? Okay, who are the two FBI agents? What are their names? Julian Saucedo and uh, Patrick, whatever the fuck, last name of his. There you go. Never knew how to pronounce it, thanks. How's he doing, by the way? Is he enjoying retirement? No, he's sitting at the corner's office. Is he? They still haven't claimed him? Hmm. You know he's not dead, Chris. But I'll send you some video and we'll talk some more. How about that? Sure, send me your video. You have a nice you day. Your email address, right? Yeah, oh, I got your card right here, son. Okay, send me your video and then we'll talk some more. Great, you have a great day. You too. So I just want to confirm, that's Patrick, correct? Yeah. Yes. Okay. And then, is that Victoria? Yes. That's Victoria? Yes. All right, is that Julian? No. No? That's nope. not Julian? No. All right, what's Julian look like? Uh, go to YouTube, I'll show you. Um, he's on YouTube? He sure is. Okay. I Is he black, I, white, Hispanic? He's Hispanic. I, I have a video documenting him hypnotizing, raping, and torturing my daughter for years. Okay. So that video, you'll be able to see what he looks like. Okay. Um, I'll look that up after. Okay. So he's Hispanic. How old is he? 50s. 50s? 40s, maybe. I don't, it's hard to tell. I've never gotten... Oh my god. So just to be clear, are you, your camera's still going? I just turned it off. Can you turn it back on? I did want to say one more thing. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, just, just to be clear, there is one of the videos, it, it's the Malevolent Seven, and it's all seven of the hypnotists in Lancaster who've been hypnotizing, raping, and torturing my daughter for the last decade. He's mm -hmm. number seven. The dead one's number seven. The okay. guy you're looking for is number six. Okay, what's what's his what's his video called? It's called uh, the Malevolent Seven. Malevolent yeah. Seven. Yeah, it's, it's on YouTube. It's on my YouTube channel. Yeah. Okay, what's your YouTube Mind channel? Mind Swell Films. Mind Swell Films. Yeah. If you scroll to the bottom, mm -hmm. and the Malevolent Seven, and there's also a separate video. Hypnotist number six is Julian. Mm -hmm. Hypnotist number seven is Patrick, who's okay. smoldering. In How the you corner. spell Mind Swell Seven? I did a video for each hypnotist okay. detailing her, mm -hmm. talking about how they raped her, showing how that they manipulate her with dust off so she okay. does whatever they want, mm -hmm. which is what they were doing here. I mean, I yeah. have a video of another homeless person saying that they're holding her. They're holding her down here. She gets four hours off the can a day, and mm -hmm. uh, she's not going to last much longer, was what I was told Okay. this afternoon. <laughs> And that video is this afternoon? That was this afternoon. The homeless person who... Do you have that video? Yeah, yeah. Can I see it? Sure. Ooh, Jesus Christ. What fucking propane do they have in there? Jesus fucking Christ. Damn, dude, you smell like fire. Making a joke? There's a dead undercover cop in that field and you're making a joke? Oh, I don't know, is he? Oh, I think he's I heard her say, quote, Don't snap your fingers at me, I'm not a dog. And then you did one big, huge snap of your fingers, and then her head dropped to her chest, and then it raised back up, and she said, What do I do? And you told her to go to sleep, and then she laid down and went to sleep. Can you explain that to me? Snap on my No, you snapped your fingers because, yes. It's as loud as I can snap. Yes. Right after she told you to stop snapping your fingers out. Because the three guys she was with before you, I all I caught them all putting her under hypnosis. Okay, well, I don't know hypnosis. But, um, well, then why did she I'm tell you? I'm a convict, bro. I don't read into books, and I'm not into hypnosis like well, that. Well, then so. how did you put her under hypnosis? I didn't put her under hypnosis. I watched you do it. Okay, how'd you watch it if we were behind a curtain? You weren't behind the curtain. You were sitting. There was no curtain up then. You were sitting. She had the fucking. Uh, this was before the curtain was there. You were both sitting. That curtain was there the first time I ever. Well, she didn't have it closed that moment then. 
Okay, because well, I, I heard her say that. Under hypnosis. I want Trust me, if I had somebody under hypnosis set, mm -hmm. she would not be acting like she is right now. Well, you guys. She would not call you stressed out. If my hypnosis would be good attitude all day long, trust and believe that. Well, I wish that would be the situation. Well, fucking, that's what I'm telling you, your, your hypnosis things. I know I know you got fucking, your imagination is fucking huge. I watched you do it. Okay, well, I'm telling you, your imagination is huge. Okay. You got a very broad imagination. Mm -hmm. But I don't know nothing about hypnosis. I'm coming over here as a man, trying to talk to you as another man. Okay, and, and I'm telling yeah, you Yeah, I what told I... her, yeah, I was going to come over here and be violent, but I fucking, I got so So where is she now? What's she's walking over here. But I got so much fucking shit going on in my head that the last thing I'm fucking worried about is violence. Then I heard him say, and your Jew father. So I turned my camera on. See what happens next. Stop it! Fuck, dude! Fuck! What is wrong with you, dude? Oh she sits there and tells me she hates me and all this, dude. Uh -huh. Alright? I go and get her motherfucking name blasted on me. Uh huh. I'm fucking dedicated to that bitch. So why'd you just come after me? Oh, fuck! I've called the police on this guy about 11 fucking times. He's violent. He's attacked me three times. I've shown the deputies three different videos of him physically attacking me. She, uh -huh. she's, he, they, deputies have gone over there and seen a black eye on her and just decided not to do anything about that. Um, and now she's calling again saying, please call the police. So if you call okay. her and he sees a call from 911, he might hurt her. Well, it doesn't pop up as 911 when we call people, so that wouldn't be a problem. Okay. So we'll send somebody out there again, okay? That'd be great. And Thank you. Yeah. He's a federal agent, and that's why I'm not telling you where they are right now. Patrick and fucking Julian, the hypnotists who have her out there. In a fucking hole! Here. I guess I do now too. Oh, that person. What's up, Patrick? How you doing? I hear your voice, but I don't know where you are. Is it haunted with Patrick, or is he really here? Oh, there's another room. It's a two-bedroom hole. Three-bedroom hole. If we were burning our if burning bodies in the world, wouldn't you consider that with trees and trees are bodies, and then humans in two? You know what I mean? Isn't that interesting? Yeah. You know, I think the way to get you off the can is just put you in a room with somebody on a can and make you listen to what they say for hours. And you'd be like, oh my God, why would anyone want to? I would hate that. You would hate that. You would hate, trust me, you would hate that. In my life, never want to do this shit in my life. In my life. I love everybody. For the most part, I love people. Cause yeah, I care about that. I really do. I call him. He's my Patrick. Mm -hmm. What? Well, the detectives arrived, and they're having some sort of a donut party. 
And I've been sitting in the back of a police car for four fucking hours, and I just want a goddamn water. But, uh, you know. The arc of justice bends towards parched throats or whatever. I'm better. I know this. I'm going to start doing a lot better. I'm going to stop doing this so hard. everything I own and a dead guy who just happened in one of my daughters fucking hypno rapists what the fuck it's everything I own in there what did he light himself on fire what the fuck what the fuck Vicky, if you want to be smart, stop putting the can that they keep using to fucking control you into your mouth. Joshua used the can to hypnotize you when you lived with him and John. Remember John and Joshua? The redhead and the fucking army guy? And I got a huge lump on the back of my head, don't even know why. You don't know how you got a lump on the back of your head? I got a huge ass lump on the back of my head. Don't even know why. Is that why you're talking in that weird accent? Me? I don't know. That might just be because I'm around. I don't know. I have had shit happen to me and have had no idea or regulation of what happened. Motive. What if what? Are you, are you like, is, is there a ceiling? There must be a ceiling in the sheriff's department. There's got to be a ceiling, right? An, an IQ ceiling? Un-fucking-believable.